Holy crap. Parts. I guess we'll get those inside. Hi guys, so pardon my appearance, but I just got home and the UPS guy left like a ton of parts on my front porch. Boxes, I'm assuming they're parts. Problem is I've ordered so much stuff lately that I don't know what they're for. So this is gonna be a um, unknown parts unboxing. Hold on one second. This is heavy. This is horribly packaged. Huge. And not heavy. This is packaged nicely. And also not very heavy. Oh, crap. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to leave you recording for that. Um, maybe I can fast forward it. Oh, ooh, my hair looks nice, guys. Hat hair. So, let's unbox these mystery parts, huh? See, the problem is I've been ordering parts for the Camaro. Like crazy. Um, I have been ordering parts for the Tundra. Like crazy. And... Oh, wait, sorry. Um, I have a Chevy Silverado that I've been that I purchased with the sole purpose of fixing and selling, and I've been ordering stuff like crazy for that also. So as it stands right now, um, I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, well, we'll start with the one that's not packaged very well, and it's actually already open. It's nice, right? Okay. I see. I know what this is. So this is a... The brand is TYGP. Um, I don't know if that rings any bell with anybody, but it's um, a US made product. It's a replacement body panels. Um, this is for the old for Silverado that I'm fixing to sell. Um, it's just the plastic lower bumper balance because the one that's on the truck um, is broken and I just want to fix it and make it look nice, you know. I don't like to buy stuff with things hanging off it, do you? So yeah, that's that. Um, I guess we'll open it. I 
I hope this is very comical for you. Because this is the hardest thing I've done all day. This is really well packaged. So, there it is. Um, they come in two colors. You can either get them in gray or black. I chose black because I think it looks better. Um, this particular one is, it comes with the bolt holes for the side of the bumper. And, well, let's see, and, you know, it comes with the quick nuts, the speedy nuts here. The rest of it plops on. Um, now, the reason I like to go with these two is they come all plugged off, right here. Your tow hooks go here and your fog lights go here. If you have fog lights and if you have tow hooks. 90% um, of the ones you order, they come with this open for the tow hooks, but that works out great because this particular truck does not have tow hooks. So, it's a win-win. So we'll put this over here. Pretty generic part, nothing special, guys. But, you know, it's, it's American-made, and I like the options that it came with. The nice part of that is this one really large box is all my other boxes can go inside of it when I'm done. Next we'll open this bar. Good night. I'm walk I stepped in water and after I get done with this I'm gonna uh, clean that up because I tracked in with my boots carrying this stuff in. Let me try to adjust this. Is that better? That's better, right? Good. I don't want to hear any complaining. Don't say I didn't do anything for you, ever. Guys, that was really rough. I need a shower. Let's put my boy to bed. Okay, so. Yeah, here we go. Oh. So. I know what this is now. This is just another part for that Silverado that we're going to fix itself. On Sunday, you're going to go with me and we'll be installing all this stuff. So, wheel bearing. That front wheel bearing is bad, I think. Might be right front. I can't remember. Either way, one of the wheel bearings is bad. We'll plug it into our snap on scanner. Make sure we know which one it is. It's not that the wheel bearing itself is actually quite bad. It's not noisy, it's tight. But, um,. When you come to a slow stop, it triggers the ABS, and the pedal goes, Arr. it's a Chevy thing. Um, it's a sign of a wheel speed sensor. The wheel speed sensors come in the wheel bearing. It's pointless to just change the sensor because it seems like it never works. Um, so yeah, if you get an ABS code, just change the wheel bearing. Or both, whatever. I'm doing one because we need to make money on this truck. box. No wonder the shipping was more than the bumper balance, the size of the box. Alright, now for these. Um, okay. Now, just for the record, these are all ordered off eBay stars. Yes, I picked a specific brand that I wanted for the front balance. And same with the wheel bearing. Um, the wheel bearing is by um, Detroit Axle. That's a good brand. I had a really good luck with those guys. And um, the lower balance is that TYP, which I told you about. Very nice products, fit well. Now this is from K2 Motors, it's an eBay store. Um, so that being said, I know what it is. Um, give me shit if you want. This truck, guys, um, somebody took really good care of it. It's pretty rust free. But um, because I live in New York, around the very edges of the wheel wells on the back, um, it's not really rust. It's just um, the paint flaked off. And you can see the bare metal. It's starting to get a little surface rust there. You know, Chevy, the paint likes to flake. Um, so what I did was I sanded it down real quick and I had some color match paint and just brushed it in on the edge of the lip and it doesn't look the greatest but the rest of the box size look good enough for uh, 2004 so I didn't want to change it so 
we ordered textured black Z71 style factory style fender flex to put on it. Did the textured black to match the textured black balance on the front. Um, like I said, I don't really feel like throwing any paint at this truck because of money purposes. Now on the eBay store, you can get a lot of different cheap fender flare alternatives. Um, the K2 motor ones are really good. Um, if you're buying the cheap one, always get the textured black because um, they're thicker plastic than the smooth ones. And a lot of times when you buy the smooth finish, cheap fender flares, like budget fender flares, they're wavy. So unless you're gonna spring for good fender flares, buy textured and uh, just leave them black. I'm not gonna open them up. Everybody knows what the fender flares look like on a Chevy truck. I'm not gonna lie, I started videotaping this when um thought maybe some cool stuff showed up, but it's not. This is just for one of my flip builds. Stuff that I do that produces the money so I can do mods to the Camaro and the Tundra and stuff like that and not take, cut it into the budget for my family's food and my mortgage and stuff that kids need. So basically everything I spend on my vehicles comes from my little side projects, my weekly take, my weekly job money that is for the family. Just so we're clear, I am not rich. I work um, almost 80 hours a week. Well, that's not a lie. I can't count my drive time. I, drive, I work 50 hours a week and then I come home and I take care of my kids just about every single night. Other than weekends, it's when I get to work on stuff, and usually two, one or two weeknights when um, the girlfriend's home. But other than that, this is my stuff. On Sunday, you and I are going to be going and putting this, these new parts on the um, Silverado. Get ready to sell. It's going to be a nice truck. It's got a pretty low mileage for the age. It's pretty rust free. Um, it's got dual exhaust, dual full master exhaust that um, somebody put on it. We got to do a little tinkering on that, but um, there's some things that somebody uses hangers that I really don't like. So we're going to rebuild those, but um, that's going to be a nice truck. Hopefully we can turn a buck on it, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good evening.